In this chapter, we will cover milling the restoration with the TS-150 in-office mill. Before starting the milling process, there are a number of service checks that should be performed. First, adjust the static air pressure to approximately 80 PSI. Next, check that the spindle oil is above the minimum mark on the reservoir. Finally, check the coolant level in the drawer reservoir. The coolant level should be no lower than the middle of the viewing window. We recommend that the coolant be exchanged and the filter and coolant drawer rinsed out approximately once a week. You are now ready to mill your case. Press the Change Program button to display the available cases. Select the case that you wish to mill from the list and press Open. Next, press the Load Material button. Select the block to be milled. Be sure to use the material that was selected during the earlier case setup. Shade can be changed, but a different material will require a new milling file to be created in the iOS FastScan clinical system. Orient the pilot hole in the block mandrel so that it is facing towards the front of the mill. Use the supplied Allen wrench to tighten the clamping screw. Once the material is loaded, slide the mill door closed and press the loaded button. The TS-150 keeps track of how many restorations have been milled with a particular tool and will prompt you to load a new tool if it has reached its useful life. The tool life indicator provides a visual representation of how many more restorations can be milled before the tool will need to be changed. To start the milling process, press the Start button. Once the mill has started, it will proceed until the restoration is completed. Now that the spindle is rotating at its cutting speed, if necessary, the air pressure should be readjusted to 70 PSI. The milling process will take several minutes to complete, depending on the size of the restoration. The milling process can be paused and resumed for any reason by pressing the Pause and Resume buttons, respectively. You are now free to remove the completed restoration and finish it according to the material manufacturer's recommendations.